What's up everybody? Today we're going to go over new plugs and the outboard. And if you're wondering why I got six, this is a three cylinder motor. If you've boned a boat for any extended period of time, you know it's always good to have spare everything on your boat. Because the worst thing that can happen is be out on the water, middle of the night, or in the middle of the day even, something goes wrong, an easy fix, but you don't have the piece on there, and then you're stuck paying a tow bill. And uh, if you ever had a car towed, you know how much that is. So imagine paying to have a boat towed. It's, it's about four times as much at least. So hang tight. We're going to break this thing open and get her done. Get her done. All right, so first things first, we're going to pop this guy open. locator plugs set this cover off to the side these actually look pretty pretty new but we're gonna replace them anyways all right, now that we've gotten that cover off. I don't know what the weather is doing, folks. It, it looks like it's gonna rain all day. And now the sun's out. And then it'll look like it's gonna rain. And then the sun's out. I, I don't know. Let's start with the top one. Also, if you've never checked your compression, this would be a great time to do it. Make sure you remember where your, your coil wire orientation is. Top, middle, bottom corresponds with the plugs on this one. I don't know about other models. I'm sure, I'm sure someone has uh, messed that up. It's a pretty decent looking plug. We're gonna go ahead and replace them anyways. That way I know it's done. I'll probably keep these for extra spares. If you've got a four stroke, your plugs are not, your plugs are not gonna look like this. That's the electrode right in the middle. There's no prong sticking up as an electrode. It's a little bit different. Do not, do not switch the two. They know working. A little bit of crud in there. I'm gonna ah, wipe some of that out. Careful not to knock this stuff into your cylinder. These things, I, th I got all six of these for under $20. It's cheap insurance. Oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. Before you thread these in, throw a little anti-seize on them and keep them from seizing up in that cylinder head. Trust me, you don't want uh, you don't want steel seeds inside of aluminum. Make sure these thread in nice and straight. You don't want to cross thread. You can torque these, or if this isn't your first time putting plugs in. Tighten them till they're just snug. Again, you do not want to strip those out. You're going to repeat that for each one of these. Somebody hammered that one in there. That one's a little, a little clogged looking. 
I don't know if that's focusing or not. I can't see my screen. Sorry if it didn't. That looks a little, a little more janky than the first one. At this point, it's just repetition. Checking your spark plugs though is a good good way to uh, check the health of your engine. Very important to keep these things running running right. You don't want to be out in the water and something go wrong. Again, not fun. I've never experienced it. I pulled boats back to marinas that have there. That one's a little gummed up looking as well. So good thing we're changing these. We're gonna know for a fact that these are good to go now and we'll have to worry about them for, for a little while. In reality, these old plugs are probably okay and they'd make it a while longer. But there's just things that you should do as soon as you get a boat that's been used, especially this is a 1992. So, you never know what someone may or may have not done to it. Also, I've committed cardinal sin of boat ownership number one by not replacing my water pump or impeller in this yet. I will be doing that. That is one thing I watch very carefully every time I take this boat out. It should be good to go now. Also check your coil wires, make sure they're not dry rotted. Make a good connection with the cap. hear that click there we go. all right and that's it and then all you got to do is put your cover back on and you put your outboard cover back on button it up and you're good to go I like to change my plugs usually on any boat iron I try to do it once a year just because it's so cheap because why not uh, same thing with the lower unit oil. You want to make sure you change that once a year, change those seals out. Anyways, that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, we'll catch you later.